Oh. Here we're, I'm recording. <laughs> hey guys, it's Asia. You know, Star Wars is recording. It's me. Um, so, yesterday we had a game plan of doing the aquarium and everything, which we did. It was nice. Walked around, saw a lot of live animals and, and fishies. Fishies and, and I did, and I for, and I did not take home. Uh, um, I told him I was gonna take home a um, a penguin. I was gonna purposely fall into the um, a penguin um, tanky and smuggle out a uh, penguin. I did not. And our hotel stay was nice. The room was nice and. They had expensive shampoos and conditioner and body wash, which was amazing. And it was a really nice hotel. We had to stay at the hotel again. I'd say we go back there quite a few times. It was next to Boston Common. We saw the Boston Common. We had some Chinese cake. We had... Boba. Boba. We had some wings from Wings and Things. Which were really good. IHOP is not very good. IHOP experience, let me tell you. Oh my god, tell me about it. Tell me about IHOP experience for breakfast yesterday when with your dad. So I wanted to go to dim sum or yum char, whatever you guys want to call it, which means breakfast in Chinese. And my dad said nothing was open then, so my dad suggested IHOP. So I was like, alright, cool, we'll go to IHOP. I ordered the burrito, Southwestern burrito. My wife, the all-star wife, ordered an omelet. It's a cheesy omelet, you know? How can you screw it up an omelet? And my dad got the pancake combo. combo. And the waitress, oh my god, let me tell you about the waitress. She was like the waitress from hell. She was rolling her eyes. Gave us like nothing. She asked, like, okay, your dad got the pancake combo. She asked your dad if he wanted pancakes. Like, it's called the pancake combo for a reason. You don't ask the the customer for pancakes. Really, come on now. And she didn't give my dad no maple syrup, no ketchup, no nothing. Just the combo. And. So I started eating mine. I didn't even get through mine because it was just so bland, no taste, no nothing. And my wife tried to eat her omelet, but it just tastes like, she said that it tastes like someone threw it in the pool, let it soak in the chlorine for a few days, then take it out and put it on a plate. Yeah, like I managed to eat like half of it because it was so gross. Like, I suffered through, like, half of it, and it killed my stomach. So after that, my wife wrote, wrote a great review about it. A great review. Sarcastically. And we got, we went through Boston County, because we couldn't check in until today. I understand, you know? You want to get the rooms repaired, sanitized, and all that other stuff. So we walked around for, like, a good few hours beforehand, did everything that we were supposed to do today in less than like an hour or so, give or take. And then the website on the Science Museum said that you got reserved tickets. We went in, bought tickets, everything was all fine and dandy. We Walked did that around. today. We did that today. Well, following the, following the day. Anyways, we got done through that about an hour or two, give or take. Not even, maybe like an hour 45. Anyways, after that, oh, let me tell you about this bum that came by us, stood by us while I had Chinese cake in my hand, in Boba. He wanted half the slice of cake, so we gave him a few bits, chunks of cake. And he was all like, ah, oh, oh, because oh, I couldn't hardly understand him. He was so ungrateful, a little a-hole. Anyways, like, after that experience, we 
try to stay away far from the public as possible. Spaniel Hall, the Quincy Market, both the same thing really. And my wife was happy as a tree today because she got her gelato. So excited, I'm so excited. It was pepper, uh, it was mint chocolate chip gelato. It was yummy. That was today. Um, and we've been chugging water like crazy because it's been hot for the past day and a half. You see all of our empty water bottles. And we don't leave here till 10 o'clock at night, yeah. which is okay, because we had a good day. I got to take a few pictures of the Boston sign. I got a picture of me and the Boston sign, which is great, because that's where my story starts. And um, we got to buy some things, which we weren't supposed to buy anything at all, but I wanted something Boston Strong right now, because I don't have anything like that, and I want to represent the city where my story started. So I went ahead and bought a Boston Strong shirt, which was 20 bucks in Massachusetts. No wonder why we call it Massachusetts. Anyways. And then we went to the Pepper Palace and bought some awesome. hot saucy stuff and spicy stuff and that's going to be potentially another video. Which will probably be this Friday, upcoming Friday. If we have anything to do... Oh yeah, we're getting tattoos on Friday also. Yes. Which maybe we'll... we'll be Sorry about the loud noise. This is what we get for sitting on uh, sitting in like a little park area in in Boston. Well, so we'll probably do a, we can do a Friday we can do a reveal video of our tattoos, and then Saturday we can do a um um so Saturday we can do a um video of the what we bought from Pepper Palace. Saturday we can do it. Yeah, because I we I would show you guys what we bought, but it's currently sitting at the bottom of this bag, and I don't feel like digging through the bag to pull it out. And unfortunately, I go back to work this Sunday coming up, which blows. I might just call out again, but I don't think the All Star Wife would have that, so. No. Of course, I gotta work. And we were hoping to get through everything in two days. Two days, tops. Let me tell you, I didn't go according to plan. So. Oh, we did everything. <laughs> Yeah. And we've just been kind of, now we're like, I, we don't know what to do. We've got to kill a couple of hours. And we walked throughout Boston, basically. Yeah, we've been like Up five, and down, something like, streets. it's been like six miles a day. We're tired. We're tired. We're hungry. We, we're doing dinner, which we figured out. Some, some Thai food, which is going to be great. I mean, it's supposed to be the best Thai of Boston, apparently. Oh, we, did, we did Panera for lunch. Normally, we could have probably potentially done it at home. But, you know, it was, but we wanted to treat ourselves. Yeah. It was nice, except for the bathroom, which was nasty. Most of these bathrooms around here are nasty. Except for our hotel room, which was really fucking yeah. bathroom, fancy. The bathroom of the hotel was really nice. Sorry about the language. Anyways, the, the room was... Like a five-star hotel room. Yeah, the room was it really was, nice, minus not having a mini fridge. Yeah, minus not having a mini fridge or a microwave. That's the only thing that they denied. I don't look like your brother. I know. But anyways, it's been a long day and a half for us because we've never done this much walking in our lives. It's been a long time since I've done this much walking in one day. Hey, good exercise. Hey, we can skip the gym this week. Yeah. And you guys don't see this every day. Oh. Especially in Portland. Yeah, we normally don't see this. A horse-drawn carriage. Oh, that is nice. So, yeah. Anything else, baby? Anything else, baby? Um, Before we so we can end this video. 
and my back and save my battery. Anyways, if you guys hit the like if button. If any of you guys are from here, I would you would want to stay at that Marriott courtyard. Yeah, on Tremont on, on Tremont Tremont Street, Street by Boston Palmer. Anyways, if you like this video, you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and subscribe to my channel, The All Star Wife. Subscribe and like her videos also. She yes, does a whole lot of videos also. Yes, I would like it that if you would all subscribe to my channel too, please. The All Star so, Wife. So we're gonna wrap this video up, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.